Hey guys, it's Sarah from Halftone Digital, and today we're going to be exporting masks, type, and XML files for Androids using BodyMovein and the JSON file type. And each of these sections is its own topic in and of itself, but they're both pretty short, so if you want to skip ahead to one or the other, you can check out the timestamps below. So let's get started. First, we're going to start out with masks, which is the three animations that we have going on here because the way that I implemented these masks is different and the same at the same time. I'll explain. So what we want is for our masks to appear like the first Hello World where we have the charcoal black background and then a mask reveals the Hello World and I have another mask around the border which gives it a white border that you can't really see but the idea is that we are overlapping masks on the same layer. So I have two masks on this charcoal black background. And as you can see in the other two, that very specific settings allow these masks to come through in JSONs. They don't always show up in JSONs. And to get into that, we'll go into After Effects. So as you can see here, we have three layers. We have a cursor, we have the black background, and Hello World. But for the sake of this tutorial, I have Hello World beneath the background. And we have this white border, and to get that white border, I use two masks and a solid layer type. And if you are interested in learning more about layer types, you can check out our video on that. These two masks, the orange one is on the outskirts, and the green one is on the inside but they both have the difference mode selected and in these three animations i use different combinations of those modes that can be selected here and i didn't use inverted at all in these but we can check that out later i've noticed that when exporting jsons that difference doesn't always work and so in this scenario i would go in and use combinations of add and subtract and in doing so, like switch around the layers and see which ones work the best. But if I do all of these different combinations and I do add and difference, it still won't work. It will still show up like this. And so instead I switched mask one down below, put add on the larger scale mask and subtract on the lower scale. And that exports as follows. So making sure that you're using combinations of add and subtract rather than the other modes will increase your chances of your JSON exporting properly. So now we're going to check out whether or not inverted exports properly in JSONs. So I set mask 2, the larger mask, to subtract and selected inverted. And we're going to open up body moving. There we go. All right. And then the way that we view JSONs is by dragging our new file into a Lottie files browser window. And as you can see, inverted does work. So using combinations of add and subtract and inverted layers works in body moving. And now we're going to talk about type. Type is a finicky thing with JSONs and that mostly has to do with the way fonts are embedded in the code. You can embed the font within the code, which is when this prompt is given when you try to render and they give you options for using fonts from google fonts or typekit or a font that is supplied on a url but it can affect how the json will show up in other people's browsers or computers so to avoid that dilemma i often export as glyphs and glyphs is like when you create outlines for type in adobe illustrator it creates vector versions of each of the letters one by one, which is why it takes so long to export. So when we're going to render here, it separates each of the letters into its own layer when it's rendering, but it'll still be active in After Effects. So if, if you want to change the type later on, it, you will be able to. But when you render, know that it will split it up into different layers just for that JSON file. And to end this video, we're going to talk about how to export for Android devices. And so if we open up our body move and export window, we go into settings. You go all the way to the bottom of the settings list and select AVD. And that exports an XML file for Android devices. And we're also going to include glyphs because 
We just talked about that. We're gonna save and we're going to create a new folder and hit render. I'm gonna open my file by clicking this little folder. And here we have the JSON and it always exports the ABD file in its own folder, just in case. So super quick and easy. And I hope you guys have fun exporting your JSONs in After Effects and Body Movin'.